James here and my husband and I are on vacation at in Utah at the Capitol Reef National Park and so I wanted to make sure that I had some llama to spin when we came here because I knew we were going to be going out and they have llamas here that you can go on hikes with and it's always fun to have crafts to take with you anytime you're going to be going places for car sitting but I always like to try to take some spinning and so this was the fiber I got. I was able to get some llama from the Get Bents Farm. And what I mainly wanted to talk about with this was our sister website, My Local Wool, is a great resource for being able to find specific breeds. Like in my case, I specifically wanted llama because I wanted to make a llama video <laughs> since we were gonna be here hiking around with llamas and it was the right terrain for it. But any, you can search by either fiber type that you're trying to find, but also location. So if you were going on vacation to a certain spot and you wanted to find local farms where you could get, you know, local fiber from or local yarn shops or maybe different guilds or things in the area where you could get some more information, that's the primary use of the website if you're using it as a consumer. It's also a great resource for farms like Get Bent's Farms for being able to be connected with people who are randomly looking for llama when they're going on vacation. So that was how I got this particular llama and it has been hand carded into uh, Rolags and it's a beautiful natural brown color and I will show you here in just a minute a little bit on spinning from that. Hey, I real quickly wanted to show you kind of how to use the My Local website if you were also looking for a particular type of fiber. You can see I clicked over to the search by fiber breed or type index and you can scroll down and it's all listed out and we add and change this all the time. Uh, that's part of one of the big things our staff does and I found llama fur. And then there we've got a couple entries in there right now. If they are underlined and have a link, you can uh, click on the link and if they should all have zip codes though so even if there's not a direct link see this is a direct link and this opens to where I got this particular fiber from and this is actually one of our uh, we can build for you if you don't have a website a fiber business page that looks just like this where people can find you and get information just like you saw or if you don't have one of those because you have already have one of your own websites or you just don't have the need for it you can take the zip code and then you can go to look up your farmer which this button just takes you to our map page and you would want to uh, type in the zip code so don't cut copy and paste type it in I don't know why that seems to matter but if you type in the zip code it takes you to that place on the map where you can then find the best way to contact that farmer for in this case the llama fur so this has taken me to the Get Bents Farm uh, webpage and this is their own webpage and if the farmer doesn't have a webpage on the map it should have linked their email address or phone number or Facebook profile however it is that they want you to be able to get in contact with them so you can then contact them and say hey I saw you uh, had could help me with some llama fiber or you know whatever it is you're looking for like your guild or your shop or whatever and this is how um, like I said, if you were just going on vacation to an area and you wanted to find what was in the area, so I pretended I was going on vacation here to where we used to live in eastern Washington. So I typed in the zip code, pretending that's where we were going, and then pulled up the uh, listings. Looks like we've got a guild, maybe a fiber festival, okay, so and this is... The way I'm spinning this llama from these rollogs is I pulled off a small section that you can see is still going in this nice tube form, which is great for woolen style spinning. And I've already been spinning some up on our balcony, but uh, I brought a drop spindle because we flew here, so I did not bring a spinning wheel with me this time. So the way, and I'm fighting the wind here. General spinning that you would with any sort of shorter fiber, because llama is similar to alpaca, where it's not woolly like a sheep, it's shorter fibers. So you definitely want to get enough twist to hold your singles together. And this has been, like I said, hand prepared by the farmer. So all the long guard hairs for the most part are all gone. So this is the downy under part of the llama. And it is very similar to, like I said, alpaca. So it's got shorter fibers 
They don't have lanolin or grease in them and they make great yarns because they're very soft and you don't have to worry about peeling like you would with uh, other types of fiber. And like I said, the benefit of spinning it from a hand uh, combed out roll log like this is that it already is coming off in a circular motion, which is what you want for woolen style spinning, which is what I'm doing with this long draw method of just pulling it down. And if you've taken my drop spindle course, you've seen different techniques for doing more of a worsted versus woolen style. This one is where I'm just letting it go all the way down to the ground and just letting the weight let the twist continue to come up. So that is a little bit about what I'm doing. The drop spindle that I brought is actually my first thing I ever spun on and it was hand painted by a lady I bought from off Etsy and she actually raised llamas. So when I was trying to uh, figure out which one I wanted to bring with me, this one seemed suitable because it was the very first one I ever had. It is a good standard weight and like I said, it was made by a very nice lady who um, she primarily raised llamas. So I figured that would be appropriate. This is the card from Get Bent's Farm. So just an example of fiber you can get from my local wool. So this came directly from the farmer. And uh, these were two hand combed uh, bats. And I'd already, <laughs> that one has a tail because I'd already been playing with it at this point in time. So what I wanted to show was that, you know, while I'm on vacation in this beautiful location, I was able to get exactly what it was that I wanted, which in this case was some llama fiber to spin while I was also hanging out with llamas on vacation because I'm silly <laughs> and that's what I wanted. And I thought it would be a fun drop spindle project. So this is a uh, beautiful combed roll log and this is my drop spindle. And so this is just some more drop spinning on um, the drop spindle. I'm mainly just showing off uh, how pretty it is because I know if you are a crafter, like half the fun is being able to take what you want to do on vacation with you. And uh, so usually, you know, it, it's easy to throw knitting or crochet in a bag, but I really enjoy being able to take either a travel spinning wheel like one of my spindolutions or a drop spindle depending on my uh, luggage and how far I'm going. And so this was just me spinning on uh, the balcony, like I said, at the Capitol Reef National Park um, with my llama fiber that I got from Get Bent's Farm. And I actually really loved this drop spindle. It was my very first drop spindle and uh, it's what got me started on spinning. And the lady who I bought it from on Etsy was also a uh, farmer who had llamas. I believe llama was one of her primary fiber animals. So when I was thinking of packing spindles for this trip, this was one I was particularly excited to bring with me. So whether you are a farmer or a fiber lover, you can get involved with the My Local Wool webpage and help support us by either clicking on one of the buttons that says join our map or coming down here to the button that takes you to our Patreon account where I've actually added our entire Dream Yarn course, which is really expansive, hours and hours of video footage that I add to all the time with exclusive content in exchange for a small donation which helps to keep this website up and running and to pay for the staff and also help support our farmers and all the time we put into having raw fiber sales, monthly newsletters, and promoting connecting uh, farmers and small fiber artists.